Would you like to have more solar in your Rebel? Well, I can show you what I did and it seems to work pretty good. Goal Zero makes a product called the Nomad 100 and it folds up nice and small. You got four panels, you're able to move them around and get them pointed right at the sun. I have found that these two 100 watt uh, panels provide far more than the rooftop because I can aim them directly at the sun throughout the day. First, a word of caution. The plug just inside the rear left door is reverse polarity from what most solar people do. Therefore, there is a gender changer in the cable. It's not here because when you put it here, there's just not enough room for it and it doesn't really fit here well. It's after this SAE cable extension. And I believe this SAE cable extension was made by I. Greeley. I want to say it's uh, 25 feet long. So here's everything we need to split. This is the SAE extension cable coming from the van. Gender changer. This is a splitter made by Dakota Lithium. And you can see there's a fuse built in. That's helpful if we had a wiring mistake or some sort of problem at the, uh, at the solar panel itself. So then, still SAE fittings here. We've split to two SAE fittings. So now we need to take that SAE connection out to the solar panel, which is eight millimeters. I believe I Greeley also makes this cable that converts SAE to eight millimeters. So you'll need two of those and you'll be in business. One of the things that's very impressive about this uh, Nomad is how small and light it is and it fits in some pretty small places. So I'm able to put two of those right there in the back of the van. It takes up almost no space. So on a good day, you can see uh, I'm getting over 18 amps. That's over 18 amp hours charging back to the to the lithium ion system. Um, compare that to what you're getting now, and if that makes sense, this might be something you want to do. So to close that out for expectations of what you might get out of adding this 200 watts of solar, I have 370 amp hours worth of battery. So I have the original two plus one extra, which means I have 375 total amp hours. And uh, I can get about a 25% on a good sunny day. And uh, you have to be there to move the panels around a little bit, maybe three times during the day. I can get about 25%. If you're on the uh, original two battery system, that would be about 35%. So for expectation wise, that is, that's something if you're not using the air conditioner, you could do multi-day boondocking without cranking a generator. I do carry the uh, Honda 2200 just in case, rainy days, whatever.